Welcome to this edition of Hazel Glen College E-News. This week across all Victorian schools we celebrate Education Week, where we stop and reflect on all the things that make state schools great schools. Here at Hazel Glen we have much to celebrate. Recently our open day and series of information evenings have highlighted many positive aspects of our college. I'm sure most parents and staff will agree that there currently exists a significant issue at Hazel Glen relating to traffic management. From the outset, I will once again state very clearly that the safety of our students is the number one priority. In particular, over the last few weeks, I have witnessed many dangerous practices that if not addressed by some parents promptly, will result in a serious injury to one of our children. Yes, I agree there is no easy answer to the traffic issue around the college. However, I draw the line at many of the unsafe practices taking place by an increasing number of parents, particularly at drop-off and pick-up times. The car parks within the college grounds are for staff only. Currently, with 250 staff, the majority of staff park outside the college grounds. I have stated this on numerous occasions. Parents are currently double parking within the staff car parks, both calling their children and walking across the car park while vehicles are moving in all directions. Cars are also being left unattended in the staff car park, resulting in many staff unable to attend critical meetings after school as their cars are blocked in. Boom gates will soon be installed on all entrances and additional fencing will be installed to prevent cars parking on nature strips and over footpaths. Parents parking across the road surrounding our college often call their children across the road. This results in nothing short of a very dangerous practice. There are five supervised crossings along Painted Hills Road and Eminence Boulevard. For the sake of a short walk, this is a safe practice we should all be using. The width of the roads around the college were never designed for the ever increasing volume of traffic we are experiencing. Sustainable transport, riding, scooting and walking are not only healthy options, they represent both an ideal and a responsible solution to this ever growing problem. Once again, I request that all parents understand the importance of developing a culture of student safety and display a responsible approach to this college-wide issue. Finally, with 300 year seven students descending on Hall's Gap this week, we wish them all a very successful camp, both with the weather and, more importantly, their hiking skills. Thank you very much.